What's up guys, welcome back to Between the Pylons. I'm John Camacho, thank you so much for watching. And guys, today we are talking about Tutu Atwell, wide receiver out of Louisville. And a special, special shout out to Adam McAdams, AKA Sid from Ice Age. Uh, my boy living in Canada uh, is the biggest Tutu Atwell fan out there. You can't tell him that this dude is too small to succeed in the NFL. You can't tell him that Tutu Atwell isn't going to be an absolute superstar in the NFL. All right. And if there is by any chance, just out of the blue, any chance in the world that there is somebody who knows Tutu Atwell personally, it could possibly get a signature or something to my boy Adam McAdams in Canada. Man, that would mean the world to him because I know he is the biggest fan of Tutu Atwell out there. He's not even a Louisville fan. Like he just he just really likes Tutu Atwell a whole whole lot, and I'm a big fan as well, guys. We're gonna get into it. Let's talk about his size and stats here for just a second. We're talking about a guy who is 5'9", 165 pounds, soaking wet. I mean, look, yeah, that's that's what he is. We we know he's not gonna be your your deep down the field contested catch guy. No, this is this is a smaller dude who is all about speed and quickness, right? That's what he's gonna be in the NFL. Get him the ball in space and see what he can do. Racked up 140 receptions, two thousand. 1,307 yards and 21 touchdowns and is just a junior at Louisville, which is awesome, awesome numbers for a guy who who really didn't get a lot of passes down the field. This was all, you know, near the line of scrimmage type of throws. This dude creates plays. That's what he does, and that's what he projects to do in the NFL. Let's get into the skill chart so I can break this player down in a little bit different way. All right, so with Tutu out, well, the first thing we do have to talk about is the route running, right? The route running, it's not special. It's, just, it's not, I mean, like, there's a route tree. Like, I mean, it's a three. I'm going to kind of talk about those together again here and I mean like he just he didn't have a lot of routes I mean it was it was getting the ball in space it was slants it was it was you know run into the flats and wait for the football it was you know like that that's what it was and you know with stuff like that you know your route running you don't if you don't get a chance to really show your stuff as far as a route runner you know I, I I'm not going to be able to give it a positive grade so at a four it was one of those things where it's like man I, I watched three games and I still didn't feel like I had a great feeling for route running but felt like I knew what the player was overall. So I put it at four and I just said, all right, look, I, I think he has quick feet. I think he can certainly grow as a route runner. But at the end of the day, I mean, that's just not really what you're worrying about when you're drafting him. You're, you're worrying about a couple things that we're going to get into, right? Hands at 6.1. I think he has good hands. Uh, does he have a tendency every once in a while to catch the ball with his body a little bit? Yes, but I think a lot of that I kind of gets into where where he was, you know, getting the ball thrown to him, right? Like it was it was in space. He had time to to catch the ball with his body and and you know adjust that way. It didn't matter. There's nobody around him. Um, I, I think you know certain things like that are going to have to be a little bit improved. But overall, had good hands. Didn't see any drops. Was not not an issue for me at all. Athleticism at a seven point one. Yeah, he's he's an athlete. He's he's a physically gifted guy. Uh, quickness. I mean, that's really why you're drafting him it's an elite elite look great i mean he is quick as hell he is explosive as hell he is just and and amazing i mean you, you look at the good grades i know this this skill chart looks so so weird because of some of the negative grades that we're going to talk about as well but you look at the positive grade athleticism quickness cut change of direction and yak right like those are the big three and then separation we'll talk to a little bit and i'll kind of explain that one uh, but all of those are are what he is that's that's why you're drafting you're drafting him to be your gadget receiver you're drafting him to be you know a running back on a certain play to be your slot receiver to be you know your your out in space guy like that's that's what you're asking him to do and i think he'll do that very well and a team is going to fall in love with that that's where the nfl is going he's gonna get drafted maybe even you know earlier than he should because of some of the limited aspects of his game i, I think teams are going to overlook that for what he is and and think that oh he has a perfect place in a specific offense and and that's gonna be why he gets drafted and why he could very possibly go day two although i do see him as like a fourth round guy but if, if he gets drafted in the third round by a team that just feels like they need this style of receiver I don't have a problem with that like I, it's not going to hurt my feelings at all I, I think that would be probably a good move for certain teams for sure and if the value for them fits that wouldn't bother me a bit but back to the skill chart sorry guys I'm, I'm getting a little bit off track there um, quickness very good contested catch not 
not what he is. You know, five five nine, one sixty five, soaking wet. Not what he is. Let's move on. Uh, Yak at a seven point three. I mean, just so good with the ball in his hands. I've already talked about this, right? Cut and change of direction. I mean, on a dime, cuts on an absolute dime. Uh, route tree to three. I, I already mentioned that as well. Uh, contested catch and body control again. Got really no chance to see any of this on film. Uh, but we'll move on to release off the line at a, at a five point three again. Like because he wasn't your traditional wide receiver, you didn't get to see this enough. But like. I mean, just such quick feet, so, such so sudden, so so explosive off off the line in general that I, I'm put it at a very positive grade and separation at a six point eight. And I did want to talk about this just for a second because I, you know, I think that this is one of those things where it's like it could have been an elite grade, and I put it at a six point eight, which is just under my elite grade. Elite is seven and above for me, uh, and and by the way, average is four point five. And it's funny with Tutu, I don't get this a lot with with a lot of these guys. A lot usually there's a lot more nuance that goes into it, but for Tutu. I mean, I think it's what you see is what you get as far as like my assessment of the player. Um, but for for me, the reason separation isn't in that elite category because he did separate very well is because I just didn't see him separating due to route running enough. It wasn't, you know, you know, impressive route running. It's just explosiveness. It was just athleticism. He's just faster than everybody else in the ACC. So, of course, he's able to separate and get away from guys, obviously. Uh, blocking it too. Yeah, you know, I, I don't, I'm not going to sit here and say that he's, you know, never tried to or doesn't put his body out there, but really he's not interested in blocking. And, and Louisville is smart. You're not going to ask him to block. I, I know that was a little bit of a shorter skill chart conversation than I normally have on this channel. But, hey, I mean, I mentioned it. I think it's what you see is what you get with Tutu. I mean, I, I can say it a bunch of different ways and a bunch of different, you know, situations. But at the end of the day, we know what he is quick explosive guy get him the ball in his hands get get him the ball in space like that's what you need to do for him and and again i do think the right team could see some value in him in that third round fourth round range right i think i think he is going to end up being a day three pick because of how limited he is as far as like what he can do but regardless of the lack of variety that you're getting from him from the wide receiver position his one skill his one like main trait it's a pretty damn good one. Get him the ball in his hands, see what he can do, right? And I think that absolutely carries over the NFL. And I'm excited to see uh, where he ends up. I, I don't have a good gauge for, like, you know, how much teams are in love with him and, and you know, where he could end up going. I hope he goes, you know, to, uh, top 100. I, I hope he gets in that third round range because I think that just that ups his value so much in, in fantasy. And I think this could be a very sneaky fantasy option for a lot of guys. Uh, I, you know, I just I look at him like if I'm in a dynasty league, which I am, you know, I think third round and I don't know his ADP. I don't know where he's getting drafted in dynasty leagues at all. So so if I'm way off on this, I apologize. But like I, I could see him, you know, late second, third round, you know, if you need a wide receiver, you feel like all the top guys are gone. Man, this is a dude who who could end up in the right situation and could end up getting 10 touches a game. I mean, at, from like running back to, to, you know, uh, looks in the passing game to, you know, screens to all of these things, right? Like, and if he's getting, you know, seven to 10 looks targets, whatever per game, you know, that, that there's some value in that from, from the uh, fantasy world, right? And assuming he can create with those opportunities, certainly some value. I'm not sitting here saying there's an incredible upside because I think the touchdown potential not really going to be there for the type of guy he is as far as, like, red zone opportunities and stuff like that. But overall, certainly a name to know if you're in that dynasty conversation and you're looking at, at guys in that, like, third or fourth round range in dynasty leagues especially, definitely a name to know and keep an eye on, guys. But all right, guys, that is all I have have on Tutu Atwell. What do you think? Do you think I'm a little bit off base on the way I'm projecting this guy to fit into the NFL? Can't imagine you do. I mean, it's pretty cut and dry in my opinion, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, please like this video if you enjoy the content, and hey, subscribe if you think you would enjoy more. Uh, until next time, guys. Peace. Peace.